Hey guys, Ross with RV Tips and Travels. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're covering how to clean your air conditioner coils. It's time to get ready for summer. It's something you have to do and it's an easy process. So I'm gonna walk you through my process and towards the end of the video, we're going to talk about how often you should be doing it. Okay, before we do anything, guys, we wanna disconnect our shore power as well as our DC battery power because your air conditioning wiring uses both power sources. And just a tip, guys, anytime you're removing a 12 volt battery, always remove the negative terminal first. Next, I'll remove the shroud from my AC unit. Now, if it's a windy day, I would advise putting your shroud on the ground. If you do leave it on the roof, just be careful not to puncture your roof membrane with the edges. Now I have a pretty common Dometic air conditioning unit and on the back of my unit, you'll see the condenser coil. Up here on the front of the unit, you may see another shroud or cover. Remove that to expose your evaporator coil. You'll most likely find a freeze sensor sticking out of the evaporator coil this sensor will detect freezing at the evaporator coil and turn off the AC unit so the coils don't freeze, expand, and rupture. So we want to make sure we reinstall this later. But for now, take a quick picture on your phone of where that sensor is located and you can just pull that sensor out and tuck it down with the rest of the wiring until we're done. Because your evaporator coil essentially removes hot air from your living space, you're going to have a hole down into your RV in front of this evaporator coil. So the next thing I do is take an old bed sheet or a towel will work as well and just cover up this hole since we'll be removing dirt and using chemicals that you don't want going down into your RV. So we really have two objectives when we're cleaning our air conditioning coils. One is to get all the dirt, dust and grime out of these coil fins and the second is to make sure these fins are straight when we're finished. The two chemical cleaners I use are the Frost King foaming cleaner for my condenser coil and I use the Evap Fresh No Rinse Cleaner from New Calgon for my evaporator coil. I'll explain why we're using two different chemicals a little bit later. However, before we use any cleaner, I'm gonna use the brush that comes with the Frost King Cleaner and just go straight up and down to get out any loose dirt or dust from the coils before we start using the chemicals. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this on camera, but there is some dirt and dust coming out of these coils as I push this brush up. Now, if your coil fins are bent pretty badly and you need to straighten them out, you can get these combs, but honestly, guys, before you spend the money, try the brush cap first. It actually does a great job to straighten out these fins. I'll use the brush on both coils, and my next step may be a little overkill, but again, I want my air conditioner to work as efficiently as possible, so I'll take a shot vac and just vacuum out any debris left in the fins that may have not come out with the brush. I'll even spend a couple minutes just vacuuming around the air conditioning unit, cleaning out the drip pan for any bugs, cobwebs, or dirt that may build up in there over time. Starting with the condenser coil, I'll spray on our Frost King cleaner. You'll notice that it will start to foam up a little bit in areas where there is more dirt. Let it sit for a minute and you'll see some of that dirt start to come out with the foam. What I like to do is take the brush and just push anything else that's loosened up out of the coil again. We can move over to the evaporator coil and repeat this process. But because that coil is exposed to our living space and the air that we breathe, we're going to use the Evap Fresh Cleaner for the evaporator coil. Now you can use this cleaner on your condenser coil as well. It's just a lot more expensive than the Frost King, so I use this only on the evaporator coil. The Evap Fresh Cleaner has an antifungal agent in it, and I'm not a chemist, but I know from a little research, this is better designed for air that you will be exposed to. Once you're done brushing the fins out, you can absolutely repeat the process if your coils are excessively dirty. You can also rinse the coils off with water if you'd like. It's really personal preference, but most coil cleaners will evaporate or rinse off under normal AC operating conditions. There's quite a bit of airflow up here and depending on where you are camping, this area can get dirty. So after my coils are clean and my fins are straight, I will spend a few minutes wiping down the components of the AC. I'll just spray some water onto a microfiber cloth and wipe down built up dirt in the drip pan, around the wiring and electrical components, clean up the blower wheel and the fan blades as well. 
Before I reinstall my covers and shrouds, I'll take a minute to inspect all the wiring. Spiders, bees, other insects can definitely make their way under the AC shroud. So while everything is uncovered, it makes sense to check all the wires and connections. One final inspection to make sure everything is clean and straight. And don't forget to reinsert your freeze sensor in the evaporator coil before reinstalling the covers. Make sure the cover on the evaporator coil seats itself nice and tight. And now we're heading down into the RV to finish up one more thing, but we are done up here on the roof so you can reinstall the shroud. We have an air filter down here inside the RV at the AC unit. Some of these filters like mine are prefab filters that can be simply cleaned with some compressed air or a water hose. Others may be a sheet of filter material that you can simply replace with new AC filter fabric. If you do use water to clean this filter, let it completely dry before reinstalling to prevent any type of mold growth on the filter. So let's talk about frequency for a second. You should be cleaning your air conditioning coils at least once and probably twice a year. Now that number does depend on the environment that you camp in. So if you camp in the desert or a lot of dusty areas, you might wanna ramp up that cleaning to three or four times per year. In regards to your interior air conditioner filter, the book basically says that you should be cleaning that once for every season that you camp. So for us, that cleaning takes place at the beginning of summer and at the beginning of fall. And as you've seen, it doesn't take long to clean out your interior air conditioner filter. So we'll usually do that when we winterize the camper. Some of you may have noticed the pink insulation board in my AC plenum during this video. That is the ever popular AC modification that adds airflow and reduces noise. I'll put a link to that video at the top of the screen right now if you wanna check that out. While on the subject of other videos, let us know down in the comment section below what topic you would like to see covered in a future video on our channel. I also wanna give a shout out to my friends Izzy and MJ over at Endless RVing. Please check out their channel. They create a nice variety of videos from tips and tricks, product reviews, walkthroughs, and a bunch more. And they really are the nicest people you're ever gonna meet. Also, we just launched our Amazon store. It's still a little bit under construction, but we're adding products to it every day. I'll put a link to that down below as well. We hope you got some good information out of this video. And if you did, we hope you consider subscribing and hitting that thumbs up button. That's all for today. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon.